Today, I'm looking at Juan Cuadrado. Him changing teams from Juve to Inter, his injury and what the status of his recovery is. We are one week away from international break and some may wonder, will Cuadrado be able to play against Uruguay and Ecuador? But let's take a step back first, because Cuadrado left Juventus in the summer. Him joining Inter was not very well received by supporters of both teams, really. Cuadrado had spent eight years in Turin. In July, he signed a one-year deal with Inter. Today, we're looking at how the 2023-24 season started for Cuadrado and for Inter. And after seven games in Serie A, Inter won six games and is currently first in the table, um, breaking tie with AC Milan, um, just on the better goal differential. Cuadrado has not been part of the starting 11 for Inter and was only getting substituted in around the 70th minute. That was before his injury. Cuadrado now is 35 years old and now at Inter had to yield to a 27-year-old Denzel Dumfries who plays in the same position. The Dutch national Dumfries has been with Inter for two seasons, is seven years younger and currently in better shape. But let's go through all games of Serie A and the Champions League for Inter this season so far to see what the role Cuadrado has played so far. On match day one, Inter won 2-0 against Monza. Cuadrado was substituted in for Denzel Dumfries in the 67th minute, so he played for 23 minutes plus extra time. Sofa score gave him a score of 6.7 versus Dumfries 7.7, who he was substituted in for. On match day two, he again was substituted in for Dumfries in the 71st minute, uh, so he played for 19 minutes in Inter's 2 0 win against Cagliari. He got a score of 7.3 versus Dumfries 7.4. And then on match day three uh, versus Fiorentina, Inter won 4-0. Again, Cuadrado getting substituted in for Dumfries in the 70th minute. Um, his score was 6.8 versus Dumfries 6.7, so fairly similar. Cuadrado gave an assist to Lautaro Martinez to score the 4-0 in the 73rd minute. And that seemed to be the pattern there, Cuadrado being substituted in in the 70th minute for Dumfries. And that seemed to be the plan um, for Inter for Cuadrado's role this season. But then we had the first international break and Cuadrado did come off in Colombia's game against Venezuela at halftime due to muscular problems in his legs. So the injury did not seem to be too serious at first, but it ended up lingering quite a bit. In fact, he has yet to see the pitch again after coming off at halftime against Venezuela a month ago. He has not played for Colombia against Chile, nor for Inter since. But let's take a quick look at what Inter has done without him to see what his role might be when he returns. Match day four in Serie A, Um, Inter won 5-1 against AC Milan. Cuadrado is out due to the lingering tandem inflammation. They call it tendonitis. And then Inter played Champions League against Real Sociedad. And Cuadrado did not even travel to San Sebastian due to his injury. The game ended on a 1-1 tie. Then on match day 5, Inter won 1-0 against Empoli. Match day 6 against Sassuolo. Dumfries scored a 1-0. Cuadrado not in the roster again. Sassuolo scored two in the second half to win 2-1. So that was Inter's first loss this season in Serie A. Only loss so far. But Dumfries was the best player on the field. He also played all 90 plus minutes. Then on match day seven, Inter played Salternitana, and once again, Cuadrado listed out as injured. It was Lautaro Martinez who came on in the 55th minute, who scored four goals. The Argentinian scored all goals in Inter's 4-0 win. Looking at Cuadrado's position, Darmian came in for Dumfries in the 79th minute. But it seems that Cuadrado is now slowly recovering from his tendonitis. He started joining the team in practice during the week 
and is slowly getting better now. He is not fully recovered yet, but it's a very good sign to see him practicing again. Just a couple of days ago, Inter then played their second game in the Champions League at home against Benfica on October 3rd. Um, that's just a couple of days ago, so Cuadrado was back on the bench, meaning he was active for the game. However, it was Darmian again who was substituted in when Dumfries came out in the 73rd minute. Inter won 1-0. Cuadrado was back with the team, but still didn't play. It's a good sign for now though. Inter has one more game before the next international break that'll have Colombia face Uruguay and Ecuador. And we'll see if he's able to play in those games at all. Without counting extra time, Cuadrado has played now a total of 59 minutes in three matches for Inter. So that's 23 minutes, 19 minutes, 17 minutes in those first three games of the season. He missed the following six games for Inter and the one game for Colombia since coming off at halftime against Venezuela. Denzel Dumfries is the starter for Inter, but also needed a break against Empoli after playing 90 minutes just a few days prior against the Real Sociedad. With Inter playing Champions League and racing for their Serie A title, there will be opportunities for Cuadrado to play if he can stay healthy. So far, Inter is having one of the best seasons ever and Cuadrado might be a factor for them to make it through the long stretch, the long season after all. There's hope for him to play a role if he can stay healthy, to be substituted in for Dumfries if Darmian doesn't take that role from him. But we'll keep a close eye on Cuadrado and the rest of the Colombian national team, what they are going to do during the season for their clubs, for the Colombian national team. Um, obviously, we're one week away from the game against Uruguay and then a few more days against Ecuador. So we'll be covering that here as well in a week, in a couple of weeks, when I summarize those two match days. Um, for now, this was it. This was Todos Cafeteros. Thank you so much for watching.